So this is H2R layouts, which you may have used for ATEM super source layouts in the past. And if you have, you'll see that uh, a macro gets created and you can just paste that into your, um, into your ATEM macro pool. But what we're gonna do now is create an animated layout. So as far as the tool goes, you only really need to create one thing. And that one thing is what you want your layout to look like. So, and I'm really zoomed in here, so I have to scroll around a lot. So for me, a common layout that I use, of course, is this sort of presenter and slides sort of layout. So you have a camera one over on the right-hand side with the presenter's face in it. And then you have camera two, which is really, you know, input two, maybe it's showing PowerPoint, something along those lines. So that's all you have to do as a user in order to create everything else, the app, the the web app in this case kind of does all the rest of the work for you. So if we scroll down, this is the classic ATEM SuperSource macros that you may have used before in the past. But right here in the middle, we have ATEM SuperSource animated macros. And um, this is hilariously big, this macro. I've, that's why I shrunk this box because this is still a macro. Well, actually it's not one macro, it's multiple macros. And it's all created via multiple macros. So, what I can do here is copy all of these macros to my clipboard. And if I head over to my ATEM media pool, and I'll just press undo on that. Um, I've just exported my ATEM media pools macros file here. Nothing special, something you've probably seen before. Um, all my macros are in there and I'll just paste this collection of macros to the end. So I pasted all that in there and hit save. Nothing crazy happening yet. If I restore that file into my ATEM, I'll have a look for animated macros here. Um, got a lot of different stuff here. There we go. This one, if I restore that into my uh, ATEM, wait for it to be done. Now it's done restoring. And if I head into my macro pool, I can go to the last page and here, this is where the macros um, get added. So it's not on the first page. By default, they're all added to the very last two, four, six, eight slots of your macro pool. That way I don't have to interrupt most of your other macros. So we copied the macro before, but we also want to download a companion page because I think this is the easiest way to make all of this work together. It's sort of a two-step process. One is you get all the macros in your ATEM, and then two is you can, and you can use those if you want. But the other side of the tail is that you can add a companion page right from the H2R layouts site. And that way you don't have to do that work either yourself. So now we're back on H2R layouts here and I can just download my companion page. I have companion opened on this computer and I can go import and then I can choose to import a single page into my companion um, instance. And in this case, I just downloaded this page here. Let that import. And what's quite nice about Companion here is that um, you can import single pages. So in this case, it's only a couple of buttons actually. And if I attach that to my ATEM instance and then import it as page two, it comes in to my page. And if I click on the buttons on the um, page over here, hold on shift, and then I'm cutting between input one and input two on my ATEM. And these are actually running the macros that I just downloaded there. But what's cool is if I click on the super source one, then it cuts to super source. And now I can go full screen on either one of these two um, camera sources here. So camera one goes big again, back down to super source. I can go camera two, back down to super source. Now what you'll see is as I jump between these two um, inputs, input one and input two, you actually see the super source button above jump um, in and out. In fact, if I just maybe make that a little bit bigger, just so it's very clear, you can see here that uh, my super source button actually jumps back and forth. And the idea here is that now I know when I look down at my companion, I know what button to press to go back into split mode. That one. I go full screen on two. I can go back to split mode with this one. 